Right, tear down time, or vinyl deck. Sony vinyl decks. I've no idea what's in this. Should be interesting. Already taken the top off. Makes for a nice plastic box to put all the components and stuff in. So, let's tear this thing down. A big chunk of rubber here. Floppy rubber. Be useful. <clears throat> Stamping and such. Mm. Not sure if that's steel or aluminium. Large disc tray. Probably aluminium. Doesn't feel all that heavy for its size. Some stuff actually in the middle. Some screws I need undoing. Hmm, they're already quite loose. Hmm, they're not even connected. Maybe been opened in the past. Maybe not. Who knows? <clears throat> Few screws on the top here, not too many by the look of it. Flip the thing. <clears throat> Lots of unscrewing, I guess. Let's look at that. If it comes off at all, seems to be attached to the wood. Rubber also. Just try them in the screws first. Probably PVA glued, wood glued in place anyway. in this. Probably big transformer. It feels really heavy. And it's old audio equipment. Retro salvage. Not that. More warnings. <clears throat> Although this was found in the pouring rain, it's likely the capacitors have discharged. Screws. 
Altså cykelskur. Still, it wouldn't be a teardown without loads of screws. <laughs> Seems like few of these legs are just attached to the wood. So bottom just comes off. Oh god. Ah, the feet weren't coming off because they're bolted in place. <laughs> hmm. There actually isn't as much as I thought inside. Look at all the circuits and stuff. Just a big drive whoa copper. What? See that? Big coil transformer, nice find. That looks like a capacitor, yeah. possibly ten talum. Lots of silver solder on the back of there, as is usual with audio equipment. Some big resistors. Probably plated with silver. Not sure what this tray's made of here. Feels like metal. It's either steel or zinc, not sure. If it's zinc, I'll be melting it down. I'm gonna grab a magnet and find out. Neodymium magnets, salvage from hard drives. No, that's magnetic as hell. That's steel or iron or something ferrous. What about this? No, yay, that's aluminium. It's quite a bit of aluminium. Could be zinc, but looks a bit zinky. Mm, maybe, could be zinc. Soon find out when I go to melt it. Which I won't be doing now, but I will be doing that in another video, as is usual. Right, let's remove some of this stuff. Big transformer. Nice find. That's totally coming out. Bolted, is it? And seems to be locked in place. Creeps. My tools. Get these lock things off. One. Sort of stoppers hold the things in place. Show you when I get one out, the others, yeah, them things hold bolts in place. Whatever you would call them. Ooh, that popped off. So, watch that. Not wearing goggles. Okay, transformer come out really easy. Whoa, it's not a transformer. It's a motor. A juicy motor. Quite a bit of brass on that too. That's brass there. 
Looks like it has been attached by a mini hex key. Nice. That's quite weighty. Bits of steel and copper in these parts. Copper. And the coil. You can see some solid copper inside. Good copper salvage from old vinyl decks. Ooh, magnet stuck to my scissors. Strong. I didn't even put it near them. Neodymium. Right, we'll cut this thing off. That's one nice motor. Should be good copper salvage on that to be melted down in the mini furnace sometime. Till I get a bigger one. Still haven't used that thing yet. Seems I need a flathead screwdriver. I haven't used one of them in a while. But I do have one close regardless. I have lots of tools around for tearing crap up like this. Well, won't be crap when I turn it into nice shiny ingots. Lots of silver solder on the bottom of there, as you can see. Big, overly applied blobs. Nice. Try not to touch between them capacitor, although it's been in the pouring rain. Still don't trust it. Although it wasn't a metal skip, probably discharged. It is most likely. What's this thing? It's a fuse of some sort. Some sort of multi fuse. Let's see if I can open it. It's not opening. I don't know what that does. Oh, it's a really, really beefy potentiometer. Potentiometer. By the look of it. Yep. Must be for speed select. That's coming off. Probably remove the solder from that with a desoldering pump. Lots of wire on this thing. Here. Ooh. Mains plug. Guess I didn't remove it. Not as much as I thought in this. I have a small one as well. Probably be about the same though. Because there's not much in these things but copper. And some silver. I don't see any gold at all. Some brass actually, a few brass bearings here and there, brass screws. A 
mains plug. That's coming over as well. Good for solder, silver solder. Best desolder this, just using an iron. Simpler. was grounded at one point a green wire just retrieving some of these screws that will use the whole base since it's iron and they have no use for that at the moment prefer to make aluminium, brass, copper Bars like that, silver. But not steel, it's a bit too common. Only useful for weaponry, really. It's exceptional toughness. What's that even attached to? Not sure. Ah. It's attached to this. The audio plugs. That come off. Yeah. There's one of them things. Stuck the plug. Yeah. Springs. Greased, lovely. Almost completely fastened these springs. There's not too much in here though, as I've shown. Cable, there'll be some copper in this. Not much. Depends if it's aluminium plated or whatever. What we got here? Another potentiometer. Yeah, not too much in these. Some nice materials, lots of screws, copper, brass. Hmm. Well, that didn't take as long as I thought to tear down anyway. And there's not even too much on it. VCR and PCs are much much better unless you're after copper in which case this meeting motor best thing in this entire find definitely well that's the vinyl decks tear down next time